and uh, this will be a best of five match um, on Pacific Ocean and we'll be starting in five seconds or more about now. Let's see, let's put it in the chat as well that we are live in three minutes. Um, all right, so uh, let's see. Roger Chiving Club again with 3F4U's, Vocal 190, LA5, and ILTT. No surprises there. And um, learning from the previous match against Roger Chiving Club, um, as Carter kind of has again chosen for the two Vocals to take care of the ILTT as soon as they can. Uh, so let's see how this is going to be played. We have F4U with rockets. F4U with rockets. And an F4U with rockets. Alright, but the Focke-Wolf still without rockets. Very interesting that he chased the primary reason why most players pick the Focke-Wolf over the one on an F is because of its rockets. Uh, but the choice here um, doesn't. And the first pots have been gone out. The ILTT goes ground attacking. We have choice 5 diving here on. Saturo, by the looks of it. Taking him head on. However, Saturo started shooting way earlier and took him out. Um, so, first kill going for Saturo. Let's find another F4U. All low. Uh, the Mosquito from Ekken 6 who tried to kill the ILTT got killed himself. Rockets fired by Hurry. He is now on Saturo. Tommy Crasher on Zerzhek. Jerry on Slimer. And Kluskov on Hurry. Hurry on Jerry. Hurry now turning away because Kluskov is hammering down upon him. And in the meantime, Saturo is still alive at 75 health. A lot of bullets flying around the place. Um, in all kinds of directions. Tommy Crasher has taken out Jurashank in the meantime. Cascador is flying up and Kluskov is the new target. The LA-5 of Slamer being taken out by Tommy Crasher as well. In the meantime, Hurry is getting hammered upon by almost the entire team of Escadora. Cascador claiming the kill on this one. And we have Kotic remaining with Maletti. Uh, Kotic now on the fire from behind by Kluskov. And this game is very rapidly going towards Escadra A. And uh, why Cottage is taking heavy damage. I, the oil 2 has been taken out by Saturo. And as soon as the last man is taken out, I can't move the spectator camera anymore. So, sorry for that, but as soon as the last guy dies, uh, there's only one guy alive. I am. Um, it cannot control the camera angle anymore. First match convincingly going to Escadra A. Only one death. Uh, the Ekken 6 from the Mosquito. So 1 0 for Escadra A. No change in planes. And I have the feeling that Escadra A, if I can make a prediction, is gonna win this 3 uh, 0. With uh, two more of these wins because they, they have played against Rosicho Wing Club on Fortress, and Rosicho Wing Club needs to spice that up to surprise Escadra A, but uh, they aren't. They're doing the same as on Fortress. And yes, they did win a match, but. And they were close. Well, they were close to win a match once, but it was more due to mistakes on the side of Escadra A. Than uh, due to uh, the play of Rosicho Wing Club itself. Uh, so I'm afraid if they don't change it, it's not gonna work. We are on our way with the second match, and that will be 
on the side of Escado Ana. Also, I'm gonna crash my pretty Spitfire into this mountain. And Escado are going all over the place. It is Jerry who's taking the initiative by taking this transport on his own. And the next transport. Oof. Which suffice with 94 health. Escado are all over the map. And spots going out. Uh, let's switch over to Kuskov. He's here together with Cascador. Cascador on the same altitude as the LA-5. Cascador taking... is on the fire but not taking much damage. Just free health lost in that engagement. Uh, rockets incoming on Slimer but missing. Let's switch. Oh, let's stay on Cascador for now. Cascador firing on Slimer and Choice firing on Cascador. Choice in the Fog Wolf 190, so that thing packs a heavy punch. However, Choice now on the fire of Tommy Crasher and I believe Saturo. Tommy Crasher disengaging and now re engaging on the F4U of Cottage. Taking a snapshot, not dealing a lot of damage. And it is Escado R that has the altitude advantage. Whilst they are on TeamSpeak, they still communicate via chat. Arkan is told to go after ground targets because they are losing on supremacy points. That IL2T is still alive. Surprisingly enough, it's Kluskov who is targeting the IL2T and not one of the Fock Wolves. Uh, Tom Crash here taking out Zurasek in a dive attack. And Maletti crashes. Maletti crashing there, so no more ground targets coming out from uh, from Rosy Chewing Club. We see Cascador here following Kluskov who is battling with Slimer, leading Slimer up for the rest of his mates to fire on and he gets roasted, melted down. Choice 5 now gets melted down, also focus fire by three enemies. The last guy would be Cottage and he is going to be melted in a couple of seconds as well, this time by Cascador. One single strafe, one by one by one, all taken out with good focus fire. Therefore, also the second win going towards um, Escadra A. So Escadra A now one game away from um, winning this third Dose Fighter tournament, a nice bit of gold with it. Rosicha Wing Club is ready for the third match and we're now waiting for uh, Saturo from Escadra A to start the third battle between these two teams. If Escadra A wins this game they have won this Doge Fighter tournament and we are starting in 5 seconds. I'll be following once again the side of Rosicha Wing Club. Um, probably gonna do the same. Yes. Maletti says which two targets he's gonna attack. I suspect there is gonna be an F4U of Escadra A in that area as well, ground attacking. And I hope this match is gonna be over soon <laughs> because I need to go to the toilet.
pretty badly. <laughs> Alright, so they're chasing it up now, spicing it up. Everybody through the middle. So finally something different coming up from Escadra. Ah, now they have their last chance. Uh, Maletti here. <laughs> and as if Escadra uh, expected it, they are on exactly the same spot at the same altitude. Kluskov and Akan 6. And we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 rockets, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 rockets fired already and still counting. And Mosquito of Akan 6 on the fire by Choice 5. Choice 5 on the fire by Jerry in the F4U1. And the first kill made by Tommy Crasher killing Zurshek. And it is Escadra A that's in the driving seat at uh, altitude advantage. Cascador getting too low will be punished for it. Uh, taken out to 30 health, still surviving however on 17 health. Still on the fire from Slimer in the LA5. 2 health is taken out. Now Saturo leads uh, Choice 5 into the A of the friendly base. Saturo has... no, the IL-2T is still alive. The IL-2T is still alive. He's gonna be focused sooner rather than later, I assume. Now, Ekans 6 here diving on Hurry and Kluskov diving on Slimer while Satura now has turned around to go after Choice 5. Let's go to Choice 5. No, Satura ignores Choice 5, instead focuses on Slimer who was stalling out there. And uh, Rosicha Wing Club still lacking simply the experience and the cohesion to take a game like this down. And um, yeah, Escada are showing them who's boss, really. And the last man, Choice 5, now also taking out Kluskov, claiming the kill. So, that brings the third Doge Fighter tournament to its end. Congratulations to Escadra R for winning yet another tournament. Um, congratulations to uh, Runner Up. Was it your win club on second place just for fun, for third place? And you will be all be getting your gold rewards for your placements uh, in the following two weeks.